All right. So in the previous lecture, we looked at how to create a you know report using the non-wizard technique. We added a few parameters. Then we actually enhance those parameters by creating multiple parameters, cascading effect, and so on and so forth. In this particular lecture, what we are going to do is we are going to actually play a little bit with expressions. And I'm going to show you how to customize almost anything in this particular report. So let's go ahead and um, do something. So I am going to also pull in the territory ID. And um, you, so expressions are nothing but some statements that you would write um, in order to customize something. So when I say something, um, you know, it could be font, it could be color, it could be calculations and so on and so forth, right? So let me show you an example. So this is the territory ID that is highlighted. Now assume that this is some sort of a key performance indicator, right? You want to highlight rows that have you know, that are, that have some values above a thresh, certain threshold. So if you right click on this, oops, uh, there is something called as expression. And if you click on expression, it kind of gives you this window where you can write some code, right? And this is where you write the expressions and so on and so forth. Now, in this particular instance, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and change some coloring, right? So what we could do is highlight territory ID, press F4, it will open up the properties pane. And in the properties pane, there should be a font color, right? So there is black is the default color. And if I click on this, it is going to give me um, an option to write some expressions. So this will open up the expression editor. And what I could do is, there's, there's a bunch of things you can do, right? So there is built-in fields, uh, you can use parameters, you can use some functions and so on and so forth. So let me show you a couple of things so that you know what are the different possibilities um, that expressions have. So first thing what I'm going to show you is, um, you know, as I said, um, you know, let's let's do something like this, right? If the territory ID is greater than five, let's show it in red. And if it's less than five, let's show it in say green, right? So I'm going to choose the IIF function. And it's it's kind of like an if clause where you say, if this condition happens, do this. And if it doesn't happen, do the other thing, right? So let me show you. So if I double click on this, it kind of gives me a general syntax. And what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to say that if my territory ID is less than or equal to five, then I want it to be shown as green. Right, and and please remember, we are we are, we have clicked the expression for the font color, so whatever we are writing will apply to the font color only. And I'll show you how to apply uh, for other things as well. Or else, just um, say you know you need it red. Right, so let's see if this works. And naturally, it's going to ask me two parameters, so I'm going to choose US, and let's see three. So it's green. Right, so let's choose something which is above five. This one, so this one should come as red. So you see that the expressions get applied, um, you know, uh, depending upon every row, um, and then you can use it however you want. All right, so let me show you one more thing. Uh, let's go ahead and say that. Um, all right, let me go ahead and add a column, and say. Um, sales YTD with bonus, something like this, right? And I'm going to write a simple expression here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to write an expression which says, uh, let's see, program flow. If my sales YTD, actually, let's keep it more simple. Let's say sales YTD plus um, 100,000 or 10,000. So you see it shows an expression. That means at runtime, it's going to take whatever value is 
for that rows um, sales by TD and it's going to add 10,000 to it. So let's take a quick example. Let's say US territory ID 2 and you see that um, well it hasn't added this so 24 oh yeah it has actually added ten thousand dollars to this so this is a another way of writing an expression right so we saw two scenarios and both are related to different cells in the same row one was we played around with font other was we played around with um, the actual values right and if you actually think about it you can actually write expression for almost anything right um, so if it's a background color there is an expression you can write right um, you can say that if the current time is whatever 10 a.m to 12 a.m the background color should be green and if it's something outside of that range it should be red something like that um, speaking of which actually let's 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 play around with that so what i'm going to do is i am going to um drag and drop a text box and let me just resize this a little bit and i'm going to write an expression and i'll say that say the time of execution of report equal to and let's see if there is a function now right and basically it's just going to um, you know show the current time there's a ton of stuff here as well and there's an execution time as well so also we can check that out um, all right let's 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 just keep it as it is for now and uh, time is not oh yeah sorry so I need to since this is a string I need to enclose it in double inverted commas and hopefully they should run okay so let me go ahead and choose US 4 and it shows the current time right so there are tons of things you can do so let's see what else we can do right um, all right let me actually show you a few more things so i'll go ahead and drag and drop a text box and oops what happened all right go ahead and resize this a little bit and i'm going to right click and then write an expression and what I'm going to do here is I am going to so you see you can actually manipulate strings you can manipulate values you can you can really really write highly flexible code and whatever you see on the right hand side um, you know pretty much everything you can actually customize it using an expression so now you're actually getting into the power of SSRS where you can have this very highly customized reports because you know you can write an expression for almost anything and um, I'll also show you how to write some C sharp code, or at least I'll put in some documentation. Um, you know, in the in the past, I have had an instance where I needed to grab some data from a web service and then show it into a table. And um, the easiest way I could do is basically just write um, you know three four lines of C sharp code to connect to the web service, uh, put it in an object, and then just display it. So, you know, it 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 pretty much gives you that amount of flexibility that you might not always find in many of those tools so many of the tools might be easy to use and you know more drag and drop friendly but this is what i love about ssrs where it gives you this tremendous facility to keep adjusting and customizing on need basis so let's see what all things are available so um date and time let's see what is built in field so we have a language all right so let's let's just try a few things right so say language um equal to and then we'll just see what comes up in language and then we'll say uh, page number equal to and then let's see what comes up in page number and and so on and so forth right and let's just make this a little bit bigger and then just to make sure it doesn't overlap i'm just shifting it down okay 
all right so let's go ahead and click preview um oh yeah sorry we use an expression which can only be used in a page header so that's good so i can show you how to add a page header and page footer as well so let me copy this expression and and kind of delete this text box and if you right click on the you know the body of the report there is something called insert and i'm going to just insert a page header and i'm going to right click and then say um, header properties so header properties is where you can kind of um, you know define your color your images um, and and stuff like that so what we are going to do here is we're going to add a text box and in the text box we are going to write an expression and we're going to just paste the expression that we copied and let's resize this a little bit and click on preview all right so i'm going to choose us and i'm going to choose a territory id to and once it executes um we, we basically have not enabled pagination here. That's why it's blank. But you see the language is ENUS. Your browser language is um, United States English. We saw this particular expression kick in. We saw this particular expression kick in where it kind of embedded the time. We saw an expression which added $10,000 to a sales uh, year to date. So plenty of things you can do using expressions. I think I've shown you most of the um, you know things that comprises the whole framework. And definitely you can you can start playing around this a little bit more and come up with more innovative ways to make your report more customizable thank you